Our next video is going to be a fun one. <laughs> I've said that on almost all the videos, but this one is, is really going to be fun. Um, so what is going to happen is the vendor has invoiced us. They have a PO number. They have all the lines of the PO, but our procurement team hasn't had a chance to receive it in D365 yet. And so this is a vendor that always sends us um, invoices with purchase orders. So there's really no, no header type of invoice. This is all straight uh, lines. So it has to be received within D365. So how do we handle that? Um, really, AP doesn't have to handle this. And let me show you how that works. So here we are going to um, send this invoice. Uh, so this is just a, a standard invoice. Again, it has not been received. Um, there's no subject. Yeah, let's just send it anyway. Um, okay, so as that's processing, we can go back into our vendor invoice automation. Um, you, we do have a pending vendor invoice from our last video that we did not process. So I'm going to leave that here. So invoice number 26 is going to stay here. Um, that'll stay for a while until I can uh, find a solution. Um, if you watch the last video, you'll know why. Okay, so let's. Um, this has not come into the um, vendor inbox yet, so we'll wait a minute. While that is taking place, yes, not received in D365. So here's the purchase order in the system. Um, not this 19, not sure why it's showing that. Let's clear that out. It is, it is number 22. Let's do contains 22. I wanted you to see that this is a confirmed purchase order in an open status. Let's go back to our automation. If I hit refresh, perfect. We see invoice number 27. It has come in through email. It's going to be processing here in a moment. And then we'll see it come up here to capture. Now, remember these captured invoices. Um, I have some colleagues who are also doing some demonstration. Uh, this one here is actually all the errors have been addressed. There was several errors. The last step, transfer invoice, which transfers it over to pending vendor invoice, hasn't been done. That's why it's sitting here. And then this Tony Hughes Gold Supplies, it didn't have a vendor that it could match to. So therefore it couldn't match to a legal entity. So it's just going to sit here until one of my colleagues addresses this. Um, ours will be here shortly. Oh, it's already here. So let's go ahead and refresh. Might already went into pending vendor invoices. As far as I know, it happens really quickly. Um, yeah, it's in pending vendor invoice. Here's number 27. Now, interesting that, yeah, it's going to sit here and it's going to try to update receipt match status. So remember what happened on the last video, it's going to fail, but we're going to, we're going to process it like we normally would. I'm just going to run the automations. I'm going to push those through manually. Now, again, the system is going to do the exact same thing it did on the last video. It's going to stay here in a waiting state status and it's the automation will continue to look for a match product receipt to, to be able to match the product receipt. So watch what happens when I go in. So you can see the update match status says waiting. If I go in and go ahead and receive this purchase order, I really like this a lot because maybe the invoice came in before the receipt happened, but the receipt does happen and Go ahead and close this. I mean, receive it. And one thing we're going to do on this video we haven't done is look at the invoice after it posts. Okay, so now we have a received PO. Now, unknowing to AP, this automation is still going to run in the background and it's going to pick up now that it has a match status. And then it's going to run all the other automation and AP never even knows that it's wait, it's in a waiting status. Um, but it's a good idea that anything that's waiting for, you can see that when the invoice was received here, 
Anything that's waiting for a few days, you can always send um, export this to Excel and send over to your buying team. Um, that might be a good way to say, hey, does any of this need to be received? But let me push these automations through and show you um, that this will post now automatically. OK, we see it's still waiting. If we come here, it's only run once. So the next time it runs, let's give it a few seconds. It is now completed. So AP doesn't really know all of that happens. That's the great thing about this is it can sit in a waiting status. And as the procurement team receives a product, that invoice continues through the automation. And eventually you're going to see it run through the workflow here in a moment. Let's see, still processing through the, through the automation here. But your AP team has better things to do than to wait for each one of these um, to process. So it's essentially going to run on its own. They should be reviewed maybe a day or two after the invoice has been received. Really, if, there, if it's the automation is running every hour. So really two hours after it's come through, which I think there's a, a way to, to pull in to insert columns on the created time then within two hours, it should. Now, if it's uh, waiting for a receipt, you it would just be waiting on your procurement team. So let's, oh, goodness, did you see that? What happened there is it submitted to the workflow because it had a purchase order and it had already been approved through the workflow, it automatically posted. Now, as promised, let me go into um, our invoice journal here. Um, when I say invoice journal, under inquiries and reports is here, uh, right here, inquiries and reports. So no, Microsoft created two invoice journals, right? One under invoices, invoice, that's an actual AP invoice journal. The AP automation for this demonstration, we're not going to talk about any, we're only talking about pending vendor invoice, but under inquiries and reports, under invoice, invoice journal, this is what I'd like you to see. So the invoice we just entered was invoice 27. When I highlight it, I quickly see a copy. I'm going to close out of my picture here. I quickly see an invoice, a copy of my invoice. I can go to the lines. I can see the purchase order and so forth. Um, so it's really nice here. Also see the attachment here. All right, on to the next video. Thanks for watching.